to environmental matters now in the Kenya Forest Service and the Kenya Wildlife Service are on a collision cause of a proposed harvesting of trees in the Shimba Hills Forest Reserve in Kwane. KFS wants to cut 700 hectares of forest which it was declared redundant but KWS has raised strong objections saying the move will jeopardize wild animals which have occupied the area and as Ferdinand Omondi reports the standoff is a major test for the coal managers who until now have been working in harmony. This is a section of the 700 hectares of Shimba Hills Forest that has been earmarked for clearance. The Kenya Forest Service says time is ripe to harvest this section, which is a man-made plantation now dotted with aging or dead trees. They are dying off. And uh, uh, during the time of their establishment, they were being established. And the objective will be uh, harvested to cater to, you know, to supply wood, uh, wood requirement to the community and also to raise, uh, to raise living for the institution. However, the Kenya Wildlife Service has raised the red flag and is seeking to block KFS from cutting down the trees. According to KWS, wild animals have since moved into the man-made forest and made it their home, particularly the endangered Hippotragus niger Velti or the Roosevelt sable antelope. Current population currently found in Shimbales is around, it's approximately about uh, 59. The 700 hectares earmarked for clearance is part of the larger Shimba Hills National Reserve, which sits on about 23,000 hectares. KFS insists that the dying trees, if not harvested, will have been a waste of resources. The body also says that the move will have a positive effect on conservation. We allow natural generation to take up, which, is a, which has got more or better conservation effect than uh, uh, man-made uh, planted plantations. Shimba Hills Forest is also a gazetted national water table and has three springs which supply over 1,400 cubic meters per day to Kwale and Mombasa. The Kenya National Water Towers Agency says any decisions on the forest must not compromise the water table. Kwale people need water, Mombasa people need water and water can only be found out of such natural sources that we must be able to protect by all means and this is not negotiable. Shimba Hills Forest was first gazetted as a forest reserve in 1932. In 1961, it was also gazetted as a national reserve, putting it under the co-management of the KWS and KFS. For now, KFS and KWS have reportedly agreed to consult, but the debate remains the KFS insistence that this is unnecessary indulgence against KWS's opposition that 700 acres is just too much for animals to handle. Ferdinand Mundi, KTN, Shimba Hills, Kuali.